we're going to take a look at a software fulfillment demo using our new agentic AI capabilities. Note this is a forward-facing presentation. Let's dive into the service operation workspace and take a look at the agent experience. Here an incident came in with the question which software should I use? I have to take screenshots of my product for a deck. We can see on the right hand analysis panel, the AI agent proposed a plan for resolution. It recommended TechSmith Snagit 7 and offered to send the user the license details as well as confirm the software with the human agent. The human agent approved and as we can see the activity automatically updated as the AI agent left a comment instructing the end user what the software is and what the license key is. The fulfiller also asked the AI agent to resolve, and we can see the resolution code, resolve notes, and state change to resolved. While this was one example, let's take a look at a second incident and example of how the AI agent can continue to reason to solve a different case. Here we could see an incident with the short description, which recording software should I use? I need something for quick PowerPoint pitch to send to my customer's email. So here I'm in the AI Agent Studio uh, testing experience where I've sent that incident number in and I've selected my incident request case solver agent which has the logic to handle software fulfillment. As the task initiates I have turned on uh, user supervision meaning the user will always be prompted before taking an action and I've turned on all tools to display output so anytime we get information It'll print it out in the Agent Studio chat window. We can see that the first agents that have run, the next best action agent, V2, uh, has identified the incident details. It sees that the incident is currently in a new state. It has low urgency, and the issue is about choosing recording software for a PowerPoint pitch. The caller is John Watson, a sales development representative from the sales department. So since we're on the ServiceNow platform, we can get all the context about the user, such as who they are, the CIs they own, and so forth. What we also can do is, of course, search for similar incidents and similar knowledge articles. So here I see a variety of incidents from other users, and I could see their roles, some other users in sales and other roles. And I could see that they've been given Camtasia, they've been given Loom, uh, they've been given different software for their own incidents that they've opened. Now, in order to pick the best software, however, there may also be company policy. And so the AI agent can also read through your knowledge articles, and here it sees an article that says what each software is from Camtasia to Loom and when it should be used. And so Loom is great for you know, uh, software videos versus Snagit, it's great for screenshots. And so here, the AI agent asked the human user for that supervised approval, I need to search for available software to recommend for the PowerPoint pitch. Is it okay? And the user said yes. And so what the AI agent did is, again, using the ServiceNow platform, it looked through all available software models and available licenses, and it came back with, hey, here's what I have. I've got TechSmith Camtasia. I've got Camtasia Create, Camtasia Pro, Snagit. Adobe Premiere Pro. So a lot of software that's available. But which one is the one to select for this pitch? That's where we come back to that next best action to generate that resolution plan that says, hey, it's going to recommend Loom for its lightweight and quick recording capabilities. And it's also going to say it knows it needs to license Loom to the user John Watson, communicate this update to the user, and then wrap the incident up. And so the user is going to say, yes, let's approve that plan to send the user, you know, the details of Loom, the license key, go ahead and update the software model to actually entitle in the system to decrement the rights so that the software asset management is in place, but then also communicate back to the user and wrap up by closing and resolving the actual incident with the details of what happened. So here... Uh, in the middle panel, you're going to continuously see which AI agents are being invoked. You get the full decision logs on the right-hand panel as well. So we can see right now it's going back to the entitlement uh, agent, which is entitling it and decrementing that software license, as well as getting that software license key to send to the user. So here you can see the license for Loom has successfully been assigned to John Watson. 
A new record has been created in the ALM entitlement user table, which is the table that tracks assignment of software licenses to users or devices. And the incident has been updated. It's actually written to the additional comments and notified John Watson about the Loom software key and how to install it. And that's the last neat thing is it could know if there's a KB with installation instructions to send that as well. Now, from a back end, none of this has been hard coded. You know, we've given high level instructions on how to solve an incident to get details, to find software, to entitle it. And the system is just activating these tools using reasoning to actually do that last mile of fulfillment. You could see there's the link to the knowledge base article in that email that we brought out there. And so uh, the human in the loop can also verify that John Watson successfully got loop installed. And that's going to kick off that resolu resolution process to actually close this out. So we're going to say, yes, it works. Uh, I've confirmed with that end user that everything is fine. What that's going to do is it's going to invoke the wrap-up agent. So the wrap-up agent is in charge of coming up with the summary, entering it into the resolve nodes, putting a resolve code, and then changing the state of the incident to resolved. So... Once again, human in the loop, it's uh, confirming the steps that it needs to do. In uh, the real world in production, most likely you're going to switch all these steps to run uh, as autonomous, meaning without displaying the output, and it just runs and does all the updates, so it doesn't need to constantly check in with the user. But again, for purposes of this demo, just to show the logic and the reasoning, uh, we've opted to enable the human in the loop and confirmation for each step. We could see that the wrap-up agent has successfully updated uh, with the resolution steps, the incident, and it's resolved. And just like that, the issue is fully solved. Now, if we take a look back at the incident, we can see that uh, there has been a resolve time, solution provided, the resolution notes have been set. And in addition to that, I can also go in and actually check the ALM license table, which is where this licensing is taking place for this given Loom license. And I'll be able to verify that it indeed created a license for this user, uh, John here, against that Atlassian Loom 5 license. And so uh, it's actually writing these records in the back end. You know, this is a fully functioning system between the multiple tools, the reasoning, and the power of the ServiceNow platform for agentic AI. Now, let's go behind the scenes to take a look at how this AI agent was actually built using ServiceNow's Now Assist AI Agent Studio. AI agents ladder up into what we call use cases, which indicate the triggers and the outcomes that you're after. In this case, we were looking at the incident request, and case solver agent. In the beginning, you describe what the use case is. So in this case, we want to analyze and solve a given task like incident, case, request, by coming up with a plan to resolve it and orchestrating the team until it's reached. Once reached, we end the conversation. We just provide some high-level instructions around how it should work. So in this case, we say, hey, we have a team of agents, and we're going to analyze the task find relevant information, create the plan, call on the AI agent team members, and then conduct the update and the provisioning of the software. Now, you could see that connected to this use case is multiple agents. In this case, I have the entitle slash license software agent, which handles figuring out the license and actually creating the entitlement record. We have the wrap-up agent, which generates the resolution nodes close code and changes the state of the incident. And the next best action agent with some enhancements to identify software that's available to recommend it to the user. So what are these agents? Well, agents are themselves individual agentic entities, meaning they have an identity, an AI agent role, and their own set of instructions. So here, my entitled license software communicate license user agent has simple instructions, entitle the software, communicate the license, and communicate back to the AI agent 
to wrap up. When we go and we look into the tools, this is what actually gives the AI agents the ability to interface with records, with data, and the system. So here, there are two flow actions that we're invoking. One flow action to update the additional comments to communicate with the user, and one flow action to assign the software to the user and get the license key to send to the user. What you'll notice is that each of these flow actions has, again, a name. It has a description. And this gets used by the AI agent to understand what tools it has available and what those tools should do. The amazing thing with these AI agents is though through their reasoning, they'll be able to figure out what the inputs are that they need to send in as they call these tools based on the available information they have in short term or long term memory. So here I'm loading up a simple flow designer uh, flow action for assigning the software and you'll notice that there are inputs that get passed in and these are going to be dynamically set and generated by that AI agent based on the context it has. So here you could see I'm expecting the software sysid as well as the user sysid and these are elements that other agents would have collected previous in the conversation. Now, in addition to these flow actions and uh, these agents, you, of course, could add other types of agents to do things like searching through a rag approach to run scripts, invoke skills, invoke subflows. And so back to our use case that we had, keep in mind that we had three agents, the wrap up agent also, which handled resolving the issue and its tools and information was essentially a flow action to do that, to generate the resolution note, close code, and change the state. And then we had one last agent, which was our next best action agent, V2. And this agent is just kind of like a general solver that goes and uses both rag and flow actions and scripts to search and find uh, all software licenses. So here's a simple script that just pulls all records from the software license table as well as the name and the sys ID, and it returns it back to the AI agent in JSON format, and that gives the AI agent context it could use in future cycles. We also get similar incidents. We get relevant KB through a RAG AI search, and we run the flow action to get details as well. So a lot of different tools to ultimately deliver a compelling use case using reasoning that a human would do.